Hello everybody, I am Eric Smith, and today we're talking about F. Paul Wilson's Secret History of the World. And the book we're talking about today is The Touch. As I said, it's by F. Paul Wilson. It is part of the Adversary Cycle. This edition is from Forge. And as usual, I'll basically review the book, trying to avoid, avoid spoilers. Then I'll get into talk of the secret history of the world, how this ties in, etc. So, uh, for the review part, with the touch, we have, all right, what's the guy's name? Dr. Alan Balmer. And after a strange experience with a homeless man, he discovers that he can heal people with a touch. Uh, it's not as simple as it might sound. And of course, this leads to complications in his life. Uh, that's the nutshell. So, uh, for those too long didn't watch folks, I gave this four out of five. I have read this before and I recall, I, I believe when I read it back in the day that I enjoyed it, but didn't absolutely love it. Not one of my favorite F. Paul Wilson's. It's four out of five. I really liked it. Uh, I mean, it is F. Paul Wilson. The man's an amazing writer. He writes great characters and intense stories. This moves at a great clip. The first day, uh, at whatever time I started it, I flew through the first hundred pages or so, and then I finished it the next day, and it's over 400 pages. Uh, now, admittedly, I only worked like half a day of work, <laughs> so I did have time. But I didn't want to put it down. I did fly through this. It is a bit more melodramatic, I think, than the other stuff that I have read by him. There's a lot of interpersonal relationship stuff going on between uh, Dr. Bulmer and his wife and the mother of one of his patients and some of the other doctors. And there's also this part of the story with this senator that we originally meet because Balmer has to is testifying in front of Congress because this senator is trying to pass this bill about medical guidelines that seems uh, just as relevant today uh, and this book was the copyright's 1986 uh, but basically this this sort of medical guidelines bill that the senator wants to pass is, to make, uh, Dr. Bulmer thinks will make being a doctor uh, like working on an assembly line. He's opposed to it. Uh, so that all is going to come into play within the story. So there's all this sort of stuff going on, and there's Dr. Bulmer trying to figure out what's going on, how and why he can heal with his touch, and all of the craziness that's going to eventually come along with it trying to keep it secret. Of course, it's going to get out. Um, and so this is 90% medical thriller and 10% horror. Not sure about my percentages there. Uh, mostly medical thriller, but there is some horror in here. And as a bonus, there's a short story, The Dat Te Vow. I do not know at all if that's how you pronounce it. But that's basically what the touch is. It's called the Dat Te Vau, uh, which is Vietnamese. And um, so there's a story about that. I'll get more into that in the next part of the video. But so overall, uh, great characters, um, well paced. As I said, I tore through it. Uh, fascinating as a medical thriller and then delving into the horror elements. Um, very, very entertaining book. Four out of five. Um, I don't know that there's anything else I need to say as far as the review goes. Um, I mean, if there's something else you want to know, you can always ask me down in the comments. But that's that's that. Let's get into the secret history of the world stuff, so there will be spoilers, as much as I try to keep them to a minimum. Can't always do that. When we're talking about this part, let's dig in, 
this time I remembered to grab my copy of Signals, which has my most up-to-date timeline. Really quickly, in case this is your first time watching this, even though this is like the 17th video in the series, Secret History of the World, the three years leading up to the end of the world as we know it. And so, year zero minus one is the year right before the end of the world as we know it. And the touch, um, interestingly, simply says ends in August. Now, I can take a quick look here. Relatively quick. La la la. It starts in April. So it starts in April, ends in August of year zero minus one. And so that is less than a year. Uh, by the end of the book, less than a year uh, till the end of the world as we know it. And it covers uh, Bloodline is in April. The Fifth Harmonic is in April. Panacea is in April. The God Gene is in May. By the Sword is in May. Ground Zero is in July. So it's taking place at the same time that all of those things are taking place. And it does mention a couple of things. Uh, and I will say that this is one of the books that uh, F. Paul Wilson went back and tweaked to make it fit. Um, because as I said, the original copyright's 1986, and there's a character that's using an iPod. So, obviously, tweaks were made to this. He had to do that with some of the books to make them fit into the timeline. Uh, because 9-11, uh, the 9-11-2001 attacks, are part of the timeline. So, he couldn't have this happening so far back. Uh, so, it does mention uh, an incident called the Wilt, which is from By the Sword. And it mentions something happening in Central Park, which is uh, Ground Zero. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something that happens in Ground Zero. And But other than that, at this point, it doesn't really tie into anything else that I've read, at least that I can remember. But he does say in the afterword, or maybe in the introduction to the short story, that it is going to be very important by the time we get to Night World, or in Night World, the final book. So, this is, I, I probably should have mentioned this in the earlier part, you can easily read this as a standalone book. Um, unlike the Repairman Jack books at this point, which are just one super tight story with the last one, two, three, four, five, six are basically just one big tight story. Uh, and I don't think they stand alone. They don't stand alone. But this, absolutely read it as a standalone. You don't need to know anything about the secret history of the world. Don't need to know anything about Repairman Jack. Don't need to know the adversary, even though this is a novel of the adversary cycle. <clears throat> um, but it does mention, as I said, a couple of things, and I'm very interested to see how this is going to become part of the bigger story. Then we have the short story, Dat Te Vow, or however you say it. I apologize if I am mangling that. It takes place uh, at the same time, or... Well, at the same time as the end of Reborn, right around there, uh, which is, let's see, Reborn is uh, February, March, 1968. Oh, and then right there it is, Dat Te Vau, March of 1968. So this is... A story of the touch, essentially, in Vietnam and how it's eventually going to proceed to America, to this book. And in <clears throat> Reborn, I, 
believe it's in Reborn, there's sort of a coda that has these three or four quick little vignettes that show how the events of Reborn have echoed around the world, and one of them has to do with the Dat Te Vow. Um, and so it's a little, and again, I, I don't know for sure. I think it's, it was an addition to the book, but I don't know exactly when that book was published. Um, but it feels like that was added on because he had the greater story mapped out. But, uh, so in Reborn, at the very, very, very end, this little coda, there's a tiny bit about the Dat Te Vow, and then... Eventually, it all is going to lead to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think that's all I have on how it's going to, on how this fits in, because it doesn't, as it is, does not completely fit in. We see, again, because of these two incidents that are mentioned, we see that it's in that world. Um, and because Reborn mentions it, but I don't know how it's going to tie into the greater story, uh, which is interesting because with the Repairman Jack books, it's not 100% clear what's going on, but we know. we The Repairman Jack books at this point are the biggest source of secret history of the world. One, because there's over a dozen books in that series, and there's only four or five books in the Adversary Cycle. Um, unless, I mean, you can count, like, Repairman Jack falls into both, I believe. It's considered both in some lists. Um, so, I forget where I was going with that. Um, the story, the overall story, I don't know. But it's nice to read a standalone. Um, I am still reading at this point, reading an F. Paul Wilson, every other book or every two books, uh, every third book, I should say, every other book or every third book, I'm doing one of these Secret History of the World books to try to keep it as straight as possible and I just find, it amuses me that um, the third one since I started doing that, I could have read it any time because it doesn't connect that much yet. But we'll see where it goes. Um, all right. I think that's all I have for this video. Um, where is my phone? Next up on the list is let's see got my trusty list here next up on the list is the void protocol which i believe is an ice book ice uh, which was panacea the god gene and now the or is it apparently there's ground zero I could just look at this. It'll tell me, it should tell me in the front here. Um, adversary cycle. Ice. Yes, the Void Protocol. Panacea, the God Gene, the Void Protocol. So maybe this will tie in a little tighter to the secret history. We've had little clues in the first two, little things. Little hints that it's all part of the same world. We'll see if it makes a bigger splash. All right, that is it. No question for this video. I'm not really doing those for these. So if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the usual YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. And on Blue Sky, I am at E-L Smith. 
that's all I have for you this week. So until this time, I'm used to saying this week for one series that I do, but this time, because this isn't weekly. <laughs> that's all I have for you this time. So until next time, read more books. <laughs>